welcome back everyone to another TechZone tutorial. In this video, I shall show you how to protect your USB flash drive using a software called VOTFD. Now at times you may want to carry, may, uh, carry your files on the go using your USB flash drive and the most common advice from people you would hear is to protect your data on your USB flash drive because you might want to protect it from any viruses or hackers or any unknown strangers accessing your data. So with VOTFD, there's a way that you can protect your files uh, on your USB flash drive. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So all you have to do is download it from the link in the description. And you can see I already downloaded it here. Sorry, I have a sore throat today, so I can't really speak loud. But anyway, uh, this is uh, free OTFE. Sorry, free OTFE. That's the thing that confuses me, the OTFE part. Okay, so I have my USB flash uh, plugged in already. It's an 8 gigabyte uh, emission flash drive. And what you're going to do first as you plug it in, you're going to click on new. So you will be, uh, basically get the volume creation wizard. And I'm going to go through every step. So I'm going to click next. So what it's going to ask first if you want to create a volume file or basically a separate file as your which will be which will contain pretty much every one of the data in it or you want to create a separate partition in your USB flash drive now creating a partition is a little bit more advanced I know how to do it but for all you um, beginners out there I definitely recommend using a volume file and that is pretty much what I'm going to be using today so let's leave it as volume file and let's click next now you will have to uh, set the destination where your USB is so we're going to click on browse and then we're going to click on our USB flash drive and we're going to save it as file. So let's save it and let's click on next. Now you want to set the size of your new partition or your protective partition. So let's say I want to leave it a space of 200 megabytes. Okay, so make sure it is at least above 100 megabytes at least just to be on the safe side. So the size of your new protective partition where all your files are going to be or your basically important ones are going to be in this volume of 200 megabytes so let's click next you do not want to mess with this part uh, you're going to leave this which is basically you're going to uh, with this Microsoft Crypto API set this is where you're going to actually enter a password in order to access those uh, files so let's click on next this is the important part where you have to type in your password so let's type in the password for now and confirmation password make sure it's a long password longer passwords are always better okay so and now at this point that's all you pretty much have to do so let's click on finish and now what it should do is that it should start creating a partition of uh, 200 megabytes on my USB and this shouldn't really take such a long time so I'll continue once this is finished okay so you can see there's just a few seconds left in order for it to complete and once it's done uh, you should get an information box or a dialog box that should pop up any moment uh, which is right about now okay so free OTFE cre volume created successfully and mounted as drive F now they asked to please format and override this volume free space before use so let me just show you what I mean so now that we're done with that uh, you can see there is our new protected drive in there. Now the computer, however, doesn't recognize it as a drive. Only free OTFE will recognize it. Now before you do anything, like they said, you have to format it. So right click and you're going to click on format. So you pretty much get the same formatting interface. So leave it as quick format and you can click on start to format um, that part of your USB drive. It's not going to format the whole USB drive only that 200 megabytes we created. So let's close that. And now, if you were to double click on it, then this new protected partition should load up and we can add all our files in there. So let's add a okay, this small image that I have over here, which is a part of my intro in the video. And uh, let's just put it in there, okay? So if I were to go to my computer and then go to my flash drive. You can't find it, but this file.vol file is basically your protected partition. Now you can't access it unless you have free OTFE and you can access it from here itself. So you can see our file is in there. Now, let's dismount this. 
Now let's say you plugged in your USB flash drive onto another computer and then you will have to install free OTFE again unfortunately. Yes, you need free OTFE in order to access your files. Now there's an easier way to do this. On your host computer, you're gonna go on tools, copy free OTFE to USB drive. Now what this should do is copy the entire software onto your USB drive so whenever you plug in your USB it should automatically load up free OTFP whenever you plug it in and then you can mount your hidden uh, protective partition uh, to your computer okay so you're gonna leave it as it is make sure your drive has been selected and click OK so now what it should do is should copy the entire installation of free OTFP to your USB flash drive so this is an important process actually if you don't want to have to go to your friend's place and download free OTFP from there and then um, use it from then onwards whereas you can copy the entire installation to your USB flash okay so once the copy is complete you're good to go so what do you do when you plug in your USB flash well when you plug in your USB you should get this now this should pop up but where is that protected drive we just made how are you gonna access it easy go to mount file okay and you're gonna mount this file.vol this is your protected partition so open it and now they're gonna ask for your password so let's type in the password and click OK it should validate it and there you go your free OTFE volume has been mounted as drive app so your password is correct and your protected partition has been mounted and you double click on it there you go all your files are safe in this protected partition of your USB flash drive and when you are done make sure you click on dismount all okay now you can create more than one protected drive of course if you would like if you want to keep it separate so dismount all which will dismount all the drives so uh, then if you want to access your drive again then you will have to repeat the process now file and then file.vol and so on okay so that's basically it those are those are the basics uh, with the software free OTFE to help protect your files in your flash drive so I hope this video has helped you out a bit in protecting your files in your USB and I hope you learned something about this okay so that's about it hope you enjoyed the video if you did watch subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day.